So while the Bay Area and the country says goodbye to Coach Madden, there is one East Bay town where the coach was simply just John. Hall of Famer moved to Pleasanton in 1967 when he coached the Oakland Raiders and left an impression that will last for generations. Pleasanton, home to nearly 80,000 and for 54 years, home to one of the NFL's biggest stars. You hear about celebrities getting hassled everywhere they go. John didn't get hassled in, in Pleasanton. He, he, and if someone came up and talked to him, you were like his best friend, even if he just met you. Dennis Miller would know. He was the sports editor for the Tri-Valley Herald for 26 years and announced Foothill High's freshman football games when John's son, Mike, was the head coach. Coach Madden didn't miss many games. John would just come sit in the press box and hang out and watch the games uh, when it was a colder night, and he would just start breaking down a freshman football game <laughs> like he did an NFL game on Sundays. It was amazing just to sit there and listen to him. He was just a regular guy, warm, down-to-earth, kind, funny, compassionate. Father Mark Wiesner was John's pastor at St. Augustine's in Pleasanton. Even though his Sundays were already booked, Coach was always good for a makeup. Like I said, he would make the price of coming to Mass during the week. You know, some people, football's not on Sunday, so church doesn't happen that week. But John didn't take that tact. He continued to live his faith as best he could around his very demanding Sunday schedule. John had a big appetite. Vicks on Main Street was his breakfast spot. His picture hangs inside. The same table four days a week, which became a shrine after his passing. And he ordered the Coach Madden every time corned beef hash and eggs over easy. We all be happy to serve because he was a regular customer, very normal person, but very nice. Because we know he's famous and he treats everybody the same. John invested in Pleasanton. The Rose Hotel was one of his many properties. If he wasn't lunching there, you would find him at Delatory sitting at table 10. He loves spicy food, but most of all, just a good, quiet meal. He tried to keep a real low profile when he was in, especially if he was having, you know, lunch and stuff with his family and everything. But once you heard his voice, you knew he was in house. Unassuming, friendly, outgoing. Despite all his success, John never forgot his daily city roots. His celebrity spanned generations. Even the very little ones in Pleasanton will forever remember Coach Madden. My grandchildren go there all the every Halloween because he gave huge chocolate bars to the kids. Of course he <laughs> and did. And they loved it. <laughs> and that was John Madden. So how did he land in Pleasanton? Well, apparently many of his assistant coaches for the Raiders back in the late 60s lived in Castro Valley. Son Mike told me last week he missed the turnoff for Castro Valley on 580 back in 1967. And the next exit was back then Foothill Road in Pleasanton some 10 miles east. John pulled off and said, why not Pleasanton? And for the last 54 years, he's called it home. Stay right here with KT.